Now that we could obtain input, let's write a program that does something useful and ties together many of the things we've seen. So let's assume that we're a runner and we want to write a program that will calculate a pace for us. So let's write a pace calculator. And let's assume, just as an example, that maybe we've run a marathon. So we ran the marathon. It took us 3 hours, 19 minutes, and 15 seconds. And the distance for a marathon is 26.2 miles. And we want to know, well, what was our pace per mile? And calculating this to the nearest second is fine. So how would we do this? And we have all the tools at our disposal now. You might want to stop the video and play with this on your own for a while and see what you could come up with. And I'll write a program in a little bit to perform this calculation. But first, let's use the interactive environment to make sure we're on the right track. Recall that pace is just equal to time divided by distance. And we might have to pay attention to units here. But we're interested in pace per mile. And provided we're given the distance in miles, we should be all set. How about time? Um, when it comes to time, let's stick with that marathon example. There are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. So there are 3,600 seconds in an hour. Let's just total up all the seconds we have. So 3 times 3,600 is the number of seconds in 3 hours. And let's add to that 60 seconds times 19 minutes. So those are the number of seconds in 19 minutes. And then it also took us 15 more seconds. We add that in, we get the total time. Total time is 11,955 seconds. And to get the pace, we could just take that time, divide it by the distance, which is 26.2. What's the pace? Well, there it is. OK, so you want to know your pace. It's 456.29 something something seconds per mile. OK, well, that's probably not all that useful because we're used to thinking in terms of minutes and seconds per mile. So we need to massage that data a little bit. And also, all those extra digits of precision, we probably don't need those. Let's clean things up a little bit here. First, let's have a distance variable. And let's set that to 26.2. So things become a little bit more descriptive in that we could say pace is equal to, well, let's just take the integer version of time divided by distance. And now what's the pace? Uh, it's 456 seconds per mile. But now we can go back and use the div mod function to express this in terms of minutes and seconds. If we took the div mod function, gave it the pace, and said 60 as the second argument, this tells us the number of whole multiples of 60 seconds there are in the pace. So that would be the number of minutes. And it also gives us pace modulo 60, or the remainder after we divide 60 into pace. And so this is telling us the pace was 7 minutes and 36 seconds per mile. We probably don't want to output things that way. And we can clean that up a little bit. And we'll worry about that when we write the actual program. Now we'll hit Control N or Command N to create a new window in which we'll write our program. And this creates the the window with a title of untitled. We'll start with the comment that this is a pace calculator. And now let's prompt the user for the number of hours. And we'll stick that in the variable time. So the number of hours, well, let's convert this to seconds. So that would be 3,600 times however many hours we have. Let's take the integer version of whatever the input function returns after we prompt the user with enter the number of hours. Then next, let's get the number of minutes. So we'll take time 
and we will set that equal to the old version of time which had the seconds obtained from the number of hours and we will add to that 60 times the integer version of whatever the user gives us after prompting them with enter the number of minutes. To that we will add the integer version of whatever the user gives us when we prompt them with enter the number of seconds. Okay, so we add that to time and then we reassign it back to time. And finally let's get the distance. So the distance, well here we don't want an integer version because maybe they ran a fraction of a mile and we want to allow that. So let's convert to a float whatever we get from the input function after prompting the user with enter the distance. And now we perform the calculations we did before in the interactive environment. Let's find the pace and that's just the integer version of the time divided by the distance. Once we have that let's get the minutes in seconds and here we'll use simultaneous assignment. So let's say one identifier is mm for minutes and ss for seconds and then we have div mod of the pace with an argument, a second argument of 60. Now we just need to display this back to the user. So let's call the print function once just to print a blank line and then let's print the fact that we're telling them the pace. So we'll say pace is equal to and then here I'm going to end this line by saying don't give me a new line yet. What I want to do is next print out the minutes, the seconds, and with a separator of a colon. Okay? If I'm very lucky and have no bugs in here, this might do the trick. So first of all, I have to save this. I hit Command S or Control S. I'll call this pace calc dot py. I've saved that. And now I can run it by hitting the F5 key. And it says enter the number of hours. Let's go with 3. The number of minutes. Let's go with 19. And the number of seconds. 15. The distance was a full marathon of 26.2 miles. And there